Hello to you. I'm Jesse R. Johnson. This is life. Creationism or evolution? That's a question. Is there really any controversy? No. Life began and developed from natural processes, not unnatural processes over thousands of years ago. But the title of this video must be qualified by using several hundreds of words. So, in the end, there's religion and science. Religion is an empty belief system without a single point of evidence to, to support it. This is Judaism, Christianism, empty belief system, which assumes life began about 6,000 to 10,000 years ago, brought about by the unnatural process of being created by a deity. At base, all life as we know it, not presume it, guess it, assume it, conjecture, opinion, believe, hypothesize about it, etc., has these matters, such as when, where, why, what, how, etc. When life began, different times or simultaneous. Where, one single place or spot or 10, 100 trillion places or locations. What this is meant in the sense of what is the element life is made up of. Why? Because of this, because of that reason? How? By natural processes or by un unnatural processes, by a deity, etc. First, we will simply deal where both religion and science agree, and then where they don't. Let's begin. Number one, both Religion and science agree that life has not always been around and started at some point. There was a before life when life didn't exist at all. Number two, both religion and science agree that the earth and sun were here before life. Number three, both religion and science agree that once life was here and began, that life came and comes only from life. So life cannot come from life if life is not here. We'll start with, we'll go to four. Both science and religion agree that ourselves and life, as we know it, is composed of chemicals, dirt, water, and air, and also sunshine electromagnetic radiations, that life is made from chemicals of the surface of the earth and life returns at death back to the earth. These chemicals, 16 of which composes at base every known form of life on earth, along with six to seven augmentary chemicals. Number five, both science and religion agree that all 16 base chemicals and 6 to 7 augmentary chemicals were here before life began. Number 6. Both religion and science agree that whichever way life started, whether by a deity, deity God in 3 to 4 24-hour days or by recombinations of 22 to 23 chemicals over several tens to several hundreds of millions of years or more by constant and continuous recombinations in tens of trillions, quadrillions, septillions or more micro-locations on Earth because life is atomic and molecularly, molecularly micro at base. And the point is that it started at some point. Number seven, both science and religion agree that the main disagreement between them is how life began and when life began. And that, once you prove 100% beyond a doubt how life began, then when, W-H-E-N, when follows as a natural adjunct. Number eight, both science and religion 
agree that for religion to prove it is right, A, it must prove 100% physically that that, that, their, T-H-E-I-R, that their deity God physically exists, B, that this deity 100% had the physical power and the knowledge power to produce all life 6,000 to 10,000 years ago on earth, and C, that this specific deity did just that, or produced life on this earth by showing and proving it could. Number nine, both science and religion agree that for science to prove that no deity, God, is needed to produce life, all it has to do is, pro- is by producing life in the laboratory to any level or degree from basic to advanced, or showing, or showing that it, was, it is an impossibility for life to have ever come on this earth except by natural processes. Number 10, all talking is to be done after 100% proof, not before. Why? Because talk is cheap. Number 11. At, in the end, it is to show or prove 100% that it is physically impossible for life to be on this earth except in one of two ways, natural or unnatural. That means it was created by a deity or came about by natural processes. The physical fact is that physically, life came to be by natural processes and that life began, developed, evolved, survived to this day over the course of over several hundreds of millions to one two, three billion years of time. I want to thank everyone for listening and watching, and please, ah, share this video and subscribe. I want, we'll, we, we will meet on our next video in a short while, a few days from today, and please have a fine day.